today I'm building the absolutely worst pirate crew in One Piece. I'll go through each role on the ship and pick the absolutely worst character for that role. And by the end of the video, we'll be left with the most dysfunctional crew you've ever seen. Even the worst crew in One Piece needs a ship. But the thing is, most pirate ships in the show are actually pretty good. Now, of course, I could just choose Luffy's first ever ship, but I don't think that would be fair since that was just a normal boat Luffy decided to use for pirating, and it isn't an official pirate ship. I personally think that the Bardo Club is one of the worst ships because aside from looking silly, it also feels fragile, kind of like it's made out of plastic. And although it is pretty bad, even this ship is incredible compared to the ship I chose for our crew, which is Blackbeard's ship. No, not that one. I mean the first one. Yeah, that's much better. The ship is literally just four logs and a flag, and it was destroyed to pieces not even five minutes after it was introduced. It's absolutely the most stupid, most unsafe, and most unreliable ship in the entire series, which is exactly what we need. Now it's finally time to start assembling our crew, which will consist of 10 members in total. And for starters, we need a cook. Someone who can keep the whole team going by making nutritious meals. So let's see who would do the absolutely worst job at this. For example, Struson has a devil fruit that lets him turn anything into food, which sounds really good on paper, but the problem is that his food tastes pretty bad. However, I don't think that the bad taste alone is enough to earn him a place on our crew. So, how about Big Mom? She surely knows how to make a few dishes, but the problem is that she would only make sweets. Not like that matters because she'd eat them all herself anyway, leaving nothing for the crew. And although that would be pretty bad, do you know what's even worse than a cook who starves their crew? A cook who poisons their crew. And there's one person just like that, our boy Luffy. He showed us how horrific he can be in the kitchen on multiple occasions. Not only is he an extremely inefficient cook, seeing as he spent a week's worth of supplies to create a single meal, but the dish he made turned out all purple. And I mean, just look at this and tell me it wouldn't kill anyone who ate it. There are still nine rolls on the ship left to cover and let's continue with the sniper. Choosing the worst sniper is tough because even the worst one could still get a lucky shot. So we need to make sure that doesn't happen. One option would be to choose Kobe because he'd probably be too scared to pull the trigger and kill anyone. Another great option is the officer of the Don Quixote pirates, Corazon, as he's just too clumsy and would probably accidentally drop the weapon each time he tries to shoot. Or in the worst case scenario, he might even shoot himself. Brooke would be another tragic sniper because, well, he doesn't have eyes. But I don't think any of these characters are bad enough to be the sniper of our crew. And there's one more character left who might just be the worst of them all. You see, Vander Decken completely relies on his devil fruit to do all the aiming for him, and he can hit anyone as long as he touched them before. Do you realize how ridiculous this ability actually is for a sniper? In order to hit anyone, Decken would need to walk all the way up to the enemy, high five them, then walk all the way back, and only then could he shoot. If this doesn't sound like the worst possible strategy for a sniper, I don't know what does. A navigator is someone who chooses the path the crew takes and, well, navigates them. So naturally, a bad pick for this position would be someone like Fujitora, since he wouldn't have a clue where the log pose is pointing due to being blind. And although that would be pretty funny, he is a marine, so I can't include him in this video. Now, I could sift through hundreds of pirates to find the worst possible pick for the navigator, but come on, we already know who this position is reserved for. Zoro always manages to get lost. He's so bad at directions that he would literally go through an alley and then come back through the exact same alley only seconds later. Man, not even Shenron could give this guy a sense of direction. As a navigator, Zoro would lead the ship into the most dangerous weather and be like, I'll cut the tsunami, I'll cut the tornado, which may have worked once, but don't push your luck, Zoro. But picking the right musician for the crew may be the toughest challenge so far, as all of them are actually pretty good. For example, Brooke can play multiple instruments and also sing well, which is completely opposite of what we're looking for. Uta is like the best musician in the world, so she's also a pass. Queen and Apu once sang a rap song together, and even that sounded way too good for our crew. If I wanted to find someone who would be the absolute worst musician in the whole story, I'd have to look a bit out of the box. And after some thinking, a perfect character comes to mind. So rather than picking some random guy who just can't sing and call it a day, wouldn't it be much better to pick someone who's singing would cause chaos amongst the crew? And that someone is Pika of the Don Quixote Pirates. As soon as this guy starts singing, he would immediately get laughed at by everyone, which I'm sure would lead to a lot of fights between him and the rest of the crew. And also, let's be honest, having Pika sing on your ship every single day would be unbearable. Four done, six more to go. And if the crew already seems bad to you, prepare yourself because it's gonna get much more disastrous than this. Since the brawls between crew members would be a daily occurrence for this team, they would of course need a great doctor to treat them. Just kidding, because we're looking for a doctor who will make everything even worse. Doc Q is a solid option, because he's clearly not that good of a doctor, or else he would have cured himself. Also, his devil fruit can only turn people sick, not the other way around. 
Another really interesting choice would be Frankie, as he'd probably just want to turn everyone into cyborgs. Does your hand hurt? Let's replace it with a metal one. You're losing a lot of blood? No worries, we'll just fill you with cola. And although this would be absolutely hilarious to see, there's one character who would treat his patients even worse. You see, the only thing Caesar Clown knows is experimenting on people and creating weapons. So just imagine what would happen if you gave him an entire crew of people to treat. I bet he would take the opportunity to do a couple of tests on them and inject them with god knows what, which would probably leave the entire crew dead in less than a week. Looking at the crewmates we've chosen so far, it's pretty obvious that the ship will be constantly in terrible condition. So who will be the unlucky shipwright tasked with repairing it? Well, first of all, I think any giant would be terrible for this role. You see, the ship we chose is pretty small, and if someone strong like giants tried to repair it, it would probably just break apart. Another person who'd be a really bad shipwright would be someone with anger issues like Big Mom or Kaido. Just imagine after genuine trying their best to repair the ship but failing, they just start punching and breaking everything around them. However, if we want a shipwright who'll do the most damage to the ship by far, then the best choice is obviously Corazon. In his flashback, he showed us that he can't do a single thing without screwing up and often catches himself on fire for no reason. I bet he could find a way to accidentally burn down the entire ship or make it explode in a matter of hours. But before Corazon manages to do that, we'll need someone to pilot this piece of junk, and that's why we need to find a helmsman next. Now, being a helmsman is a hard job to screw up because you just have to listen to the navigator and steer the wheel, which is not all that complicated. The problem is, the ship we chose for our crew doesn't even have a steering wheel, so the job of the helmsman would be pretty much to adjust the sails and move the ship that way. Anyway, firstly I thought about making a deaf character the helmsman, as he'd be absolutely useless and wouldn't be able to listen to any instructions, but One Piece doesn't really have any characters with hearing problems. But then it hit me. Who's even worse than a helmsman who can't pilot a ship? A helmsman that intentionally crashes the ship. And there's one person perfect for this job, Dorodoa Zoro. Now before you ask, yeah, Zoro is already a navigator of the crew, but it's pretty common that one character fills multiple roles on the ship. For example, Usopp was a shipwright and a sniper, and before Jinbei joined, other Straw Hats steered the wheel. Just imagine Zoro filling these two positions. He'd first be able to decide exactly where the crew would go, and then immediately turn the sails and go there. It would be a total disaster. Before we choose who will be the vice captain and captain of this crew, let's first fill a role that no crew can do without, a pet. As far as pets go, I see three pets that can make this crew even more unstable. The first one is Richie the Lion. Even though Richie acts like a kitty most of the time, he is no stranger to attacking his own crewmates, although in sleep. Another contender is Momu, the pet of the Arlong pirates that acts tough but easily gets scared of people stronger than it. So I bet it wouldn't think twice about turning on its own crew in favor of someone stronger. But at the end of the day, it's just too weak. So even if it betrays the crew, it's not like it would matter that much. However, there is one pet that would make the crew's journey much harder, the giant fish Ankoro. Ankoro is the pet of the flying pirates and I chose it for the funniest reason. You see, this fish really loves eating ships, meaning if it got hungry and there weren't any other ships around, it would definitely take a bite or two out of its crew cruise ship, which means even more work for poor Corazon. With pet covered, we can finally fill the two most important roles, and you'll never guess which character I picked for these. So what exactly is the responsibility of the vice captain? Well, the most important thing is that they should be loyal to their captain and always ready to give their life for theirs. So when you reverse these two things, does anyone come to mind? The one possible choice would be someone like Doflamingo or Crocodile, as these guys wouldn't serve under anyone and would probably even try to assassinate the captain so they'd be in charge. However, we could also go a completely different route and just pick someone who would be completely useless like Manjaro, for example, who's the vice captain of the fake Straw Hats. And although I really wanted to put him as the vice captain, as I thought it would be absolutely hilarious, there's actually one more character who's just the complete opposite of what vice captains should be. That someone is Blackbeard, a guy who wouldn't be loyal to anyone and couldn't care less about protecting his captain. On top of that, we also know that he's fond of killing his own crewmates, and I think he's a perfect character to send this crew into total chaos. And finally, the captain. A person responsible for leading the crew. Someone who looks out for them, and whom everyone respects. And if we put those words in reverse, we get... Buggy. This dude only cares about getting himself away from danger and would throw anyone else under the bus to achieve that. Also, he likes loaning money from other people and never returning it, which means he and his crew would constantly be on the run from various debt collectors. However, believe it or not, there's one reason why Buggy isn't the worst captain in all of One Piece, and it's that his crew would be relatively safe with him, as he would avoid any strong opponents by a mile. And we don't want that. We want this crew to fall apart as soon as possible, and there's no better character to do this than Eustace Kid. Now, even though he cares about his crew and knows how to be a captain, he loves 
loves going after the strongest people on the seas even though he stands no chance against them. He's also really stubborn, and even though he lost a hand in a battle against the Red Hair Pirates, he still decided to attack them again, which led to the complete destruction of his crew. So yeah, Kid is undoubtedly the only character worthy of leading this disastrous crew. But did you ever wonder what the strongest crew in One Piece looks like? Click on this video next to find out. Why are you still here? Click it!